and Robinson, Stephen Kenny will be coming up afterwards. Who wants to go first? Question, Guy, if you want to go ahead. Go on. Uh, I was going to say welcome back, not to you and part of the last squad, but it was a bit stop start, wasn't it? You, yeah. you've, you've had your problems with COVID and injury and whatever. How do you feel and, and you feel you going to make up for lost time now? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, it was annoying for me. Um, started the season so well club level and then I was ready to um, obviously join with the lads um, but then sadly yeah, caught, caught Corona again so that's twice which is a nightmare but um, yeah I feel obviously it took me a few weeks even when I got back to uh, back to West Brom to, to feel 100% um, but I feel much better now I've got my energy back a few weeks ago and, and um, got my fitness back and um, I've played in the last few few games uh, for, for West Brom and I feel ready to obviously play in these games. Obviously goals are what Ireland needs. Do you feel you're in good form and there's better options going ahead at the weekend? Yeah, um, obviously I've, I've said in previous in interviews that about I want to be involved in goals and scoring and assisting and, and being a threat further up the, uh, up the pitch. And um, I've been doing that club level um, and I've been assisting and scoring goals for, for West Brom. So hopefully I can I can bring that uh, to international level for these for these two games. Is there a comparison between how many chances you might have at international level compared to in the championship? Um, obviously, there's it's a different it's a different standard. You're playing against the best of best players in in every country. Um, so yeah, you, you could say it's obviously tougher. Um, but then it, then again, championship is a very good level. Um, but I'm fortunate at championship level and here I'm playing with good players so chances will definitely be created or I'll be creating them and hopefully we can we can put them away. Finally, it's probably a question we've been asked a million times but what is your best position and long term do you hope to be a number nine? Um, I like to obviously play up there and because you're involved in all the attacks sometimes when you're coming from the sides you're arriving um, and you're getting there third man runs etc but um, I think, as I said, this season I've, been, I've played as a nine um, at club level and scored a few goals, and I've played out wide and assisted a few goals as well. So um, that forward area is is definitely key, and I think in both club and here we're we're playing similar uh, styles um, of late, and I've played in any of them three positions. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Karen. Callum, how are you? Yeah, Ireland actually good. started quite well against Azerbaijan when they met in Dublin last month, but they just couldn't take their chances. Will that be key for Ireland to win on Saturday? Yeah, it, it definitely will be, and we've been working hard um, already this week on. Um, we, even though we started the game well, there was um, moments in the game where we've done a few tweaks and analysed the last game and. Hopefully we can we can bring that into Saturday and it can work for us. We've seen glimpses of good play from Stephen uh, Stephen's team so far, but it's still just one win from sixteen attempts under him. Uh, are you surprised by how long it's taking the team to click? Um, no, not really. It's it's a bit of everything. We've got a lot of young lads coming through who have got a lot of talent, um, but they need to obviously play and get their confidence and, and play at club level and play play more games for Ireland and as you can see for instance Adam Ida the last trip he was he done so well for us um, he's probably been with us for about four or five trips and um, la the last trip you could see how his development he's getting much better everyone could see that so that's just one player what springs to mind and there's a lot of other young players you've got Aaron Connolly still very young um, a young player Jason Malumbi has been in um, and there's a f obviously a lot more. Andrew's come in, done unbelievable in the, the last game when he got his chance and when he came on against Portugal. So it's a little bit of both. Um, we're, we're obviously all learning, even the older lads, we're all learning uh, the style of play because um, it's, uh, it's difficult. Everyone's playing different um, formations and stuff at club level and then you come together, you have two, three days and and to be fair, I'm, I'm really enjoying the way we are going as a team. As everyone knows, the results. Yeah, it's disappointing. The main <laughs> main thing in football is getting results, and obviously it's annoying that we we can't get it over the line. Um, but it's small margins. Literally, we're we're playing good football. We're enjoying it as lads. So um, that's the main thing. But it always goes down to results, and hopefully we can start getting the results as well as playing well because we're competing with the top teams. Yeah, is that result close? Do you think? Are you close to getting that, the first competitive? Well, you go to Portugal away. I know I weren't involved through. I was isolating, but watching the lads, 
that was up there with one of the best performances that I've seen uh, from the boys. If there wasn't a Ronaldo, um, we, we would have got the win that night. Serbia, I thought the lads were, were great in that game as well. And that's, these are these are top top teams who have got real high end quality of players, and and we're proving that we can not go up against them battling, but we we can outplay them or play um, a lot of football against these teams and get chances. So it is, I think, small margins, and hopefully we can we can get them wins on on Saturday and Tuesday. Thank you. Just uh, from a player's perspective, in your own uh, specifically, and from a forward's perspective, which is more beneficial for you and for your development as a player? It's playing with really, a strong team doing well in the championship, or a, a team struggling in the Premier League? Um, it's a good question. I think obviously I've I've done I've done both. Um, I've been in in last season. We we got relegated at West Brom. Um, and as a forward, yeah, maybe your confidence because you're getting less chances. Yeah, you're playing in the Premiership, which is where I want to be, is where everyone wants to be. Um, and you try your best to stay up in the league. Um, but then on the on the flip side, when you're in the Championship and you've got a lot of quality and you're getting, as I said, more attacks, more one v ones. Um, your confidence, you obviously as a forward, you you got more confidence because you're getting more touch of the ball, etc. But then you have that confidence when you are in the Prem, you're a Premiership player. So um, I would definitely say probably being in the champ and, and actually winning games, is, it's like anything, it's confidence. And um, yeah, at the moment we're doing really well in the league and, and you come into here, yeah, definitely more confident. Yeah, so then coming to Ireland camp, then, do you think it, it gives you an advantage then arriving with that sort of pep in your step and that sort of confidence and the manager probably sees that in your play? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I would say so, yeah, because if you're scoring and assisting goals as a forward, then you, you're always going to be confident you know if that chance drops, where, as I said, in the Premiership, you it's lovely being there, but some most of the games are tough and you get probably one chance in a game where you could probably get three or four chances in, in the Championship. So if you are scoring and assisting goals, but if you can do that in the Premiership, then <laughs> you are living life, definitely. Gavin? Hiya, Callum. Um, Hi, Dan. Matt Doherty said the other day that he hopes that Stephen and his coaches stay in charge for a long time. Would you agree with him? Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think we're going in the right direction. Um, it's hard for maybe fans to, to see that because at the end of the day it is results, but I've been involved in football now for, uh, for a long time and first in football, and you can feel it, you can feel that it's coming. Um, with. We've played some great football along the way. Um, yeah, some disappointing results, but for the long, long term, I think with the young players coming through and to to be learning off the gaffer and and uh, Keith and Ant with the the tactical uh, way of how we want to play um, football. I wouldn't say is changing, but this is the way forward. And if the more that, as I said, these young lads coming through. And even like us older lads learning, then we're only going to get better. And, and hopefully, that, as I said, them small margins where we win 1-0 or 2-1, then that, that will come. Yeah, Matt's also talked about if we could see what was happening on the training ground, we wouldn't really be any, yeah. in any doubt as to how good the coaches are and how good the manager is. What is happening in the training ground that gives you such confidence in, in the, the the different training sessions, for instance, you could have the basic, yeah, five O's and a bit of shape and a bit of set pieces, but these, when we're doing your possession drills and, and stuff like that, isn't just a small box. We do that as like a warm up, small box with two in the middle, but now we're doing for um, like possessions as in it's structural to what we want to do on Saturday. So the level of the coaching has been really good and, and as I said for the long term and for the teams now in the Premiership and the Championship this is where it's going and we need to we need to stick by it and as I said I've, I've been enjoying every moment since obviously the gaffers come in because you're always learning and as a player you always want to be learning and learning a different not a different way because a lot of managers are doing it but a way of playing football and how to get out and how to break down the team um, it's been it's been really good that's when the live section. Yeah, um, Cal, uh, you talked about the feeling that, it, that it's coming, and, and that feeling is, is amongst the supporters as well. But how do you think, in order to keep the supporters by that we described the game against Azerbaijan or the game against Luxembourg, that, that they are must win in Yeah, of course. 
listen, as I said, there's been disappointing results along the way, and we know that they're the games that we need to we need to be winning. Um, it's a it's a fact. But but then on the flip side, for instance, the lads against Portugal in the past, you Portugal with the quality that I've got, you're hoping you get a nil nil or. <laughs> If there wasn't a Ronaldo, the lads are winning one nil against Portugal. So on the flip side, flip side, that's a positive. We didn't just get out football to get Portugal had a lot of possession, but when we had chances to play and counter attack, that's tactics and that's coaching that comes from the the training pitch. So yeah, okay, you understand them games. Yeah, we do need to be winning. We know that we've come in fuming, gutted with each other, um, and as a as a staff, as a group, but. We know that now we can, with the way that we're playing, compete with the very best Serbia. As I said, they're no mugs. They're they're you, all their names. They're in the top leagues, Champions League, etc. But we probably deserve to win in the end. And on that night, I thought towards the end, um, and that's the way because the way that we're playing, where before we probably would hope we'd be hoping to, for a nil nil and getting up the pitch. But now we're actually trying to play through the thirds and. And yeah, obviously, as I said, it's difficult for fans, etc. Because at the end of the day, it's results. Wins are important. But I can feel that we can get to a point where we can play like this and still be winning games. And I, and I don't think it's far off. Okay, we'll end the live section there, if that's all right. And then.